Alright, what's good everyone? In this video, I'm going to be talking about playing MapleStory on the ROG Ally. Let's get into it. First thing I want to talk about is how to get it running. So with MapleStory, there's two ways that you can run it, either on Steam or through the Nexon launcher natively. Personally, I use Steam because it's just connected to all my games and I like to keep track of my playtime. But if you're somebody who wants to use multiple accounts, then use the Nexon launcher. And then after you choose your way of launching the game, you're going to want to fix your settings. So for MapleStory, there's not too much you need to do to get it running. The only things you really need to watch or change are the TDP, the resolution, the graphics, and maybe some other in-game settings like the V-Sync or 64-bit mode. 10 watt is fine for this game and I can get around 3 to 4 hours on a charge. I don't have any issues with slowing down or stuttering. And I've tried the higher TDP settings and the game runs essentially the same no matter how much power you're putting into the APU. And then for the resolution, I like to use 1280 by 720p. 1080p works fine. It's not even about performance. The main reason why I choose it is because because I think it's a good balance of distance and sizing playing on a seven inch screen you know maple story can look really small at 1080p and then for graphics i put it at the highest graphic setting because i don't think maple story is that taxing it doesn't really affect the performance at all to have it at max graphics and then i keep v-sync on because i think v-sync can be helpful for just you know smoothing out things when there may be like frame drops or whatever it is but if you have issues with it then don't be afraid to turn it off a lot of things with the ROG Ally and just PCs in general is just, you know, mixing and matching and trying different things to see what works for you. Some things work for other people on the same exact PC and other things work for other people. So yeah, V-Sync is optional, but I leave it on. So that's basically it for the settings and the launcher and how to get it running. You launch through either option and then you set up your TDP resolution and all that stuff. So next is the most important thing is the controls. I'm going to just preface this with I mainly play simple classes like a Buccaneer and a Wind Archer. Those two classes they they don't require a lot of attacking skills really they're pretty simple to play in bosses and stuff like that you don't need hands that's what we say in the maple community you don't need hands maybe more complex classes like evans might not be feasible on the rlg ally but some workarounds for that exist two examples that i have are using the on-screen keyboard and then another option is using a mini macro keyboard when i first started playing maple Story on this i would forget about some of my skills because there wasn't enough keys to have them all mapped but i realized i can just use the on-screen keyboard to enable my toggles it makes so much more sense because it frees up a space on the gamepad itself you can apply this to other classes that have too many skills where you might need to press them uh, less often so let's say for example you're a burst class and you have maybe like 10 different buffs that are cooldown based you can pop up the on-screen keyboard press like five of those buttons to buff up within like three seconds you can just press escape you know you're ready to do your bursts and defeat the boss and then is using a mini macro keyboard i have a mini macro keyboard with six keys that you can program different keyboard keys so the way that i have it set up is i have my toggles and my buffs and then a fifth job some in like the the knight of sickness bird guys or other skills that are not used frequently but like i might need to use them in the boss run so a mini macro keyboard is perfect for programming you know skills that you need but you don't need to use as often as like your main attacking skill so those are two options that you can work around having too many skills and not enough keys or buttons on the rg ally another accessory that i suggest is getting a bluetooth mouse and then you can just literally just use that as a mouse anywhere you are on the go bluetooth mouse will definitely help you and make it easier if you don't want to use the analog sticks as a mouse or the touch screen. But yeah, how you set up your controls, I would suggest you use Armory Crate over the built-in controls, gamepad settings in MapleStory or the Steam input, just because Armory Crate has its built-in controls already and it takes priority over any other control thing on the computer if you have Armory Crate installed. So just use Armory Crate to map your keys and set up your controls that way. Otherwise, you might have issues. For me, I couldn't get Steam input to work at all. I even tried the MapleStory built-in gamepad settings and it couldn't work. So use Armory Crate is very simple. You just open it up. If MapleStory is not added, you can add it very easily by just pressing add new game and then go to game settings for maple story and then you have a layout of all the keys and all the buttons tap each button on the controller and set whatever key you want the philosophy for how i set up my controls for maple story on the rg ally is i think about other games that i play so let's say naruto ninja storm or like a fighting game i would put my main attacking skill on buttons that i would use more frequently in other games for example if you play a lot of fps then put your main bossing skill on the right trigger because i think that's where generally shooting a gun in those games 
will be for other skills that you might use more frequently put them on obviously the face buttons like x y a b i put jump on a just because i think jump is usually on a or b a is just more comfortable for me and then i'll put cooldown skills on easy to reach buttons or buttons that are frequently used in other kind of games like i said before and then for buffs and toggles i use the analog stick to move the left one so i put the d-pad as my buffs and my toggles and that includes the cooldown buffs that you get from hyper skills or from fifth job so up will be one set of buffs down will be one set of buffs and then left right will be buffs so that's basically the philosophy for my controls and how i set it up and you can probably do something similar i suggest mapping your, your interact button escape enter those three buttons should be able to help you navigate the game easily i use those buttons on the keyboard anyways i try to avoid using the mouse when i'm like playing the game so when i'm talking to npcs i'll literally walk up to them and just press the interact button and then i'll use alt or enter to navigate through the the text and then i'll use the directional keys to press accept or decline for quests and stuff like that that's how i've been playing for years since the beginning of maple Street. i try to avoid using the mouse as much as i can so now i'm going to talk about common issues and fixes that i found but if I'm being honest, there's not that many issues with MapleStory, or at least there's not that many new issues playing MapleStory on the ROG Ally. It's comparable to playing on the most powerful PC or a mid-range laptop. Like the experience is pretty similar in terms of like glitches and issues. So the first issue that I've run into many times is being unable to change the game resolution. This used to happen to me whenever I started the game for the first time for that play session. What happens is that you open the game, it starts in the smallest resolution, the 4x2, and you cannot change it. The bar is black for some reason. The only way to fix it that I found is just closing the game. I tried going to the cash shop before and exiting out of the cash shop, but it doesn't work. You have to just close the game and restart it and it should work. What I ended up doing after a while of that happening was just starting the game and closing it right away and that seemed to avoid the issue. But nowadays, after the most recent maintenance, I haven't really experienced this issue, so that's good. The next common issue that I see is the game doesn't start when you're trying to start it. That's just a typical MapleStory thing. It doesn't matter what PC you have, powerful or weak, MapleStory just does that. You just have to start the game multiple times until it starts. The next issue is that the game thinks you're in the lowest resolution but displays a 720p resolution. The game will display the 720p resolution, which takes up the whole screen in full screen mode, but it thinks you're in the four by two aspect ratio. I don't actually know the number off the top of my head. You can only click within that small square, even though it's showing you the big full picture. The thing that makes it annoying is if you click outside of that square, like even though it looks like you're clicking somewhere on the game, it will take you out of the game. This happens sometimes just when like things in the background pop up or like you switch apps, like let's say you open the armory crate while MapleStory is still open in full screen. Sometimes it will glitch and then this happens. The way to fix this is going to settings and then changing the aspect ratio to the smallest one and disabling full screen mode and then changing it back to the previous resolution with full screen and your issue should be solved. You could also restart the game, but that just takes more time. The last issue that I've encountered is just the game being choppy or stuttering for no known reason. This could happen for so many different reasons, it's hard to pinpoint it. But when this happens, you could try to do different things like restart the game, enable VSync, sometimes there's an issue with that, or enable 64-bit mode, which gives the game more access to RAM and allows the game to run a little bit more stable. So yeah, you could try these things if you are experiencing choppiness or stuttering, and hopefully it fixes it. But overall, the performance has been really good for me. And to be honest, the glitches that I've encountered this far have been glitches that I've seen on other PCs and devices like laptops and full PCs. So it's not a ROG ally specific thing. And I think the performance is just good overall. I'm not really at the end game content yet, even though I've been playing since like 2009, but I was able to successfully beat Hard Magnus Chaos Pierre, Chaos Von Bon, Chaos Crimson Cream, and all those bosses, especially Magnus with all the meteors falling down. The game hasn't like, even with like all the arrows coming out of my window tree. So bossing is not an issue. You can boss comfortably with no stuttering, no lag. Your inputs are pretty quick. I don't think there really is input delay other than the analog sticks having a little bit of a dead zone thing, but in MapleStory it's not really noticeable. And then the last thing is that it does take time to get used to it. So, you know, you might be used to playing MapleStory on a keyboard and using your mouse to navigate, but on the ROG Ally, you're all buttons. And then, you know, you might use the touch screen here and there, and you're gonna use the right analog stick as a mouse if you want. So it takes some time to get used to that. But once you do, it feels natural and it feels good and you'll have no issues outside of the random glitches and stuff that might happen or your class.
So MapleStory is 100% playable and even beyond just doing basic things like dailies, you can definitely boss, you can grind, you can do everything that you would do on a PC on the ROG Ally. But yeah, that is all. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, leave a like, and let me know in the comments below if you plan on playing MapleStory on the ROG Ally. And also come back to this video if you have any questions or concerns, uh, comment and I'll try to help you as much as I can. And yeah, I hope that you have a good experience playing this mushroom game on the ROG Ally. But we out, peace.